Hey everyone and welcome to Australia. Just warning you, this video is not going to be very visu visually interesting. I am probably just going to talk. I, it's cold and I need to be under the blanket. And I feel really weird saying that because I'm in Australia, but it is winter time. Apparently it's like 60 degrees outside, but the house doesn't really retain any heat, which is good in the summertime. And so it's really, really chilly, and I'm wearing a sweatshirt and socks. As you know, I, I started off for Traverse City around 11 in the morning, and um, and then I went to Traverse City, and at Traverse City, I caught a plane to Chicago, and at, then I waited two hours in Chicago, and miraculously, my flight wasn't, wasn't delayed or canceled in Chicago, but the one to L.A., before the one that I had was canceled, and so that would be no good if it got canceled. And, and I was a little worried, but then everything was on time. And, and that flight is okay, but it's like the most annoying one. Like, you wouldn't think so, because it's only four hours or five hours or something compared to the 13-hour one, but it's just really, really, really annoying. It's just like, why is this a thing? Why do I have to be on this one? Like, both ways. It's like, well, could I just get to the 13-hour one so I can just be on the 13-hour flight? But then when you're coming back, it's like, oh, can I just get home? This is ridiculous. And the one from Chicago to Traverse City is only like an hour. But anyway, so then I got to L.A., and, and I had a four-hour layover there, and we're in a pretty small terminal. Like, it's, it's not that big. There's not a ton of room to go places, not a ton of stores or anything. And so I was, I was hanging out in the area where I was supposed to be, and I wrote, like, six and a half pages um, on, in this notebook, so they're little pages, but um, longhand. And so that was good because... I was still way behind on Nano. I don't think I'm going to catch up this month, but I'm going to try writing every day anyway. And and then I bought internet because I was really bored. But I was also people watching, so I have some interesting people things to read to you. So here we go. Hmm. Interesting things that I saw in the airport. A Tibetan monk with an orange robe. An adorable red-headed six-year-old boy traveling by himself. The parent has not come to collect him. I might try to steal. I don't have a pet policy to follow anymore, Aaron. Um, an eight-year-old budding photographer reading the diary of a wimpy kid. He's traveling with his grandmother and is very polite. I was impressed with this kid. I was like, you know what, kid? You were the kind of child I want to have. He was just very nice and was saying please and thank you. And like, just, he wasn't throwing a tantrum. He was just very nice, just reading his book taking pictures. He really liked taking pictures. Anyway, um, oh, and then there was a man in a suit with a giant bag. It's a weirdly shaped bag. Probably contains a body. It was a really weird bag. I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it wasn't like a body bag. It was just a really big, weird bag. And he was in a weird suit, and he just looked like he was part of the CAA, breaking, like, some spy's body back in some sort of weird bag. I don't, I don't know. Okay, and then there was a lost British girl who missed her flight and asked the guy sitting behind me what, like, where her flight was because obviously he worked there and she was just very distressed and I felt a little bad for her. And then there was a girl who was on my plane in Traverse City and who was wearing a Michigan Love sweatshirt where they, they turn Mich the mitten, the mitten into like a, a heart, sort of. I know you can't really see it, but it... It turns into a heart, and they have love Michigan or something. Okay. Oh, and then on the flight over to LA, there were some like legit crop circles. Can anyone explain these to me? Because I usually just sleep on that flight, and this time I didn't really. And um, so I saw these, these. Uh, you could see the square of the field, and then within that square was a circle. And at first, I thought they were some sort of like man-made lake pond things to like um is it to do irrigation or something i'm not sure but then i got a, then they started like being half one color and half another color and i just i wasn't they were everywhere and i was like what is this like surely it makes more sense to just if you're planting a crop not do it in a circle but do it in a square because then you don't leave off the corners of the the square that you already have 
and you can plant stuff in them. And then there was a cloud shaped like a turkey, a live turkey, not a dead one on a Thanksgiving table, a live turkey, a cloud shaped like one. And, oh, the Rockies still have snow on them. Aaron would not want to live here. This is no good. No snow in June on the Rockies. It's, it's no. No live there. Oh, and the hills have a flea infestation. Maybe wild rampaging buffalo. Might be trees. Uh, we flew over a forest fire. There were a bunch of yellow clouds just I was like, well, that's a weird color for a cloud to be. And then I saw that the clouds were, were growing from the trees. And I was like, oh, well, I guess that's a forest fire. A train from above looks like a skinny, glittery worm. Man, oh, there was a man talking on the phone as he was walking by me in L.A. Saying some things I didn't want to hear. I didn't want to hear about about fantasies or things. Why would you talk about that on a phone? But anyway, then on a flight, on the stupid flight, I was in the middle seat because, okay, I thought I had a window seat and I love window seats because then you can just, you can like lean over and sleep against the window and it's great. It's like the most comfortable you could be on an airplane. And uh, so, so I was like, yes, I'm Jay and I'm in a window seat. No, they skip I in the lettering. So I was like, oh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Great, right? No, they skip I. So I was in the middle seat. And I was, I was next to an older guy, and then also I was, I was next to a girl who looked to be a couple years younger, and she, um, she, I think, could have possibly been going to see some sort of boyfriend in in Australia. She was she was definitely American, and because she was traveling alone and she was very much primping at the end of the at the end of the flight, like I don't know, putting on makeup and stuff. And at that point, I was just like, yeah, screw that. Like I don't know. I've been in a relationship for seven years. I don't need to primp really. I don't care. Like is. Just I I was just on a thirteen hour flight. If I look bad, that's because I was on a thirteen hour flight. No good. And during the flight, I barely slept because I was in a middle seat. Stupid. And um, I watched. We bought a zoo and Mirror Mirror. And Mirror Mirror is like the worst movie ever that I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. It's, I, I I don't even know what really happened. It was just dumb. It was like the dumbest movie. Uh, and then I got to customs, and I was expecting to need to spend a bit of time at the customs counter because there was a sheet that said, remember these documents, because I'm on a different visa than I usually am, and I'm staying here for a year working. And so I, I had to bring a bank statement and proof of education, and... And I feel like there was another thing, but now I forgot it. But anyway, um, and so I brought all these things, and I was all ready to go. And I got up to the counter, and she scanned my visa. I was like, oh, what are you doing here for work and holiday? And I was like, oh, I was thinking about doing some administration stuff. And then she's like, oh, that sounds fun. Oh, bye. And I was like, but, but don't I, don't, don't you need to see my documents? No. No need to see them. Just so by. And then and then I got my luggage and and usually I've had to go through um go through like getting it scanned again like you would through security, only it's like through customs. Um and, but they just sent me down to this one line and they took my little card which said, Yes, I have medicines, firearms and or illegal drugs and they were just like, Oh okay, well and then I also said yes that I had been in freshwater lakes in the past month or whatever because I had and they were like are your shoes clean and I was like yes and they were like okay oh bye well first they had a dog sniff me but then they were like oh bye it's like okay don't you need to know what illegal firearms I have and then I got a taxi because Cal is working all day and so I got a taxi here in my 
taxi driver was really nice, except he was a little disappointed that I'd already been there before, because apparently he has this, like, spiel of stuff that he goes through, and he couldn't do that, because, because he's already been here. And then I got into the house, and, and, um, some of our housemates, um, Brennan, Aaron, 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 and Aaron differently. So Aaron is a girl's name, but in the U.S. it's a girl's name or a boy's name, but you have to pronounce it differently here. I'm having so much trouble. Oh, it's no good. I was really, really tired, but I didn't sleep at all. And you can still see bags under my eyes. That's great. I just noticed those. It's no good. Um, I didn't sleep at all. And then we were watching Lilo and Stitch. And by that time it was like 6. And then, and then Cal got home around 6.30. And I was like, oh, thank goodness Cal's here. Because he wasn't there all day. Um, Thor's really cool. But he does not know what to, he's not understanding who I am. He's so he's a very very intelligent cat. I can tell. I think he's more intelligent than coconut. So he would like come into the room and just sit under the desk and stare at me like, "Who are you? And what are you doing here?" Cal says he just doesn't like change, and he was like going around just sniffing my suitcase and like staring at my stuff that's been unpacked and just just like, "What? What is going on? Who's who are you? It's no good." And I was like, well, it's okay. And so then I pet him and I fed him. And I mean, he it's not like he doesn't like me. He's just very confused. Um, oh, it's a little sleep room. Oh, Thor wants in. I can show you Thor. If he doesn't have a bird in his mouth. Oh, I know it. This is Thor. He's really cute. He's a huge cat. Look at this thing. He's massive, um, and he's he's just staring at me because he just doesn't know. He just like, oh bye, oh bye. He's very confused. Okay, it's oh bye now because I does not know what to talk about. And um, oh, he's still staring at me. He freaks me out a little bit when he does that. Okay, it's oh bye. I talk again soon. I I get to see Priya and Ada on Sunday, so maybe I'll have something with them in it later. Okay, hold on.